Hi, this is Hobie Swan from CS Odessa. Um, today I'm going to show you how to build a basic map um, from, from scratch. Okay, so we're going to start by creating a new map. So I'm going to go up here in the upper left-hand corner, and you can either click on this new map icon, or you can go to File, New, Blank Map. Okay, so there's a new map, and we're going to do a weekly meeting map. Um, actually, I'm going to call this Meeting Notes, I think. Okay, and I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to call this the meeting for the 3-10-10 uh, meeting. Okay, now I'm going to, I want to put in a subtopic. This is a main t uh, central topic. This is a main topic. And then if we go up here, you'll see it says insert subtopic. So there's our subtopic. And now we're going to start listing. We're going to put in the participants. Particip I have a hard time spelling this word. Participants. Um, we're going to introduce some new hires. We're going to have a sales report. We're going to have a marketing report. We're going to talk about next steps at the end of the meeting. And we're going to have any other business. OK, participants. So actually in this meeting, I'm going to hit insert now. And this is going to be an all staff meeting. Introduce new hires. I'm going to hit insert again. We're going to introduce uh, John Jones. I'm going to hit enter. Ann Taylor. Under a cap. Hit enter. Pete Miller. All very American names, except for the last one, which is Sylvia Stracetti. Sylvia. Sylvia Stracetti. Um, and then in the sales report, we're going to have a U.S. sales. Here, hit the um, enter, enter key. A European sales. We're going to talk about our new clients. Yay, we've got some. And some prospects. And then for the marketing report, we're going to have um, talk about our web campaign. We're going to talk about our newsletter. We're going to talk about a new product release. And we're going to talk about um, the blog traffic. And then next steps and any other business we'll save till later, of course. Okay, so here's a really basic, um, you know, we're getting ready for the meeting, so we've put together a basic um, agenda. And, you know, we could leave it at that, and that would have a, give us all the information we need on a pretty simple um, screen. But let's go dress it up a little bit. First of all, for all staff, I just want to, I'm going to go up here to where it says increase font size. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, and I'm going to bold it. And I'm going to give it a red color. Now I'm going to um, right-click on it and go down to Format Topics. And here I just want to make it stand out, so I'm going to go over to Oval. I'm going to make it Oval. And so you see it puts an oval around it. It makes it just kind of stand out a little bit more. Now for these folks, I want to actually put their pictures in there. I, I don't have pictures of them right on my um, computer, but I'm going to go over here to um, Clip Art, and I'm going to go down to People. And just to show you that you can put, um, um, oh, excuse me, I put the <laughs> that's a guy, that's not right. I'm going to delete that. Uh, for John Jones, why don't we use a guy? Call me crazy. For Pete Miller, we're going to use a more casual guy. For Ann Taylor, we're going to use this one. And for Sylvia, we're going to give her a little more Italian, more Italian look. Um, Okay, for U.S. sales, I want to, um, I'm going to highlight this and go over here to where it says hyperlink. I'm going to put in a hyperlink. I'm going to link to a file, which is actually the sales report. So inside my folders, there's a sales report. So I've linked to that. You can see the file path. I'm going to do the same with this one. Link to file. I'm going to browse for it. It's right there. I'll just double click on it this time. Um, new clients. We have one called Cold Ice. One called Better S'mores. 
and we have a prospect called um, pet get. Now we can leave it at that, but I think I'm going to go do the same thing. I'm going to go back over to hyperlinks. I'm going to link to a URL, and I'm going to just type in their URL, which is cold ice. Okay, so now we have their URL there if we want to click and actually go to the site. Um, for the web campaign, there's a lot of information to this, so rather than try to put it all in this thing, I'm going to create a new map, which I'm going to do by right-clicking and saying send a new page. So now we have an entirely new map. And in this map, we're going to put in things like well, we want to create a contest. With a contest. Oops, can't type. Uh, which we're going to post on the blog. Uh, we're going to alert all of our friends of the blog. We're going to uh, drive traffic to the web. And we're going to let this run for about a month. So we're going to close it in a month. Okay, so there's our some more details of our web campaign. We can build this out more at some other time, but I'm going to take this link here, which is going to link us back to the map. And you can see they just go back and forth, so you can always get to this map. And also, you can also see this map. If you go down to the bottom here, the page navigator, you'll see the main map is there, and then the web campaign map is there. So they're all together, and actually they're these aren't two separate map files. It's all one map file. It's whatever I name this map. This map is just a part of that file. And you can tell because it's sitting down in here. So that's good. Rather than having to find two different maps in two different locations, it's all bundled up into one location, which I think is a really nice feature. And that's a, a feature you don't find on many other maps, any other mapping software. Um, so now for the newsletter, I want to put in some some task details. So I'm going to go up here to task info. And so this is a 310 meeting. So this let's say that this thing is going to start on start on Monday the 15th and we're going to give the newspaper folks 2 weeks. I think it should actually only take them 7 days and we're going to have um uh, Dave and Mary do this, and they're at zero complete now. Um, so, and when actually when you go here and you see that little eye icon right there, you can roll that o roll over that, and it'll give you your information, who your resources are, when it's doing stuff. One thing I want to do just to give me a better visual thing is to go highlight that and go up here to symbols, and I'm going to choose one of these things here, which is sort of a percent done kind of indicator. So as we move along through this project, I can click on this and it gives you more time, how much time it's done. So you can go all the way around. Oh, excuse me. And so when you're finally finished, it'll give you a check mark. And if you go one more, then it starts all over again. Um, so here we have a, a meeting map. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Um, So we've got participants, new hires. We've got pictures of all of our new hires. That'll make them feel more welcome. Sales report, we've got our documents attached so we can just pop them open during the meeting and people can see the figures for themselves. We can go to the cold ice site and see what kind of new client we've got. We can go to more details on the web campaign. We can see where we are with the newsletter. And then, you know, as you know, we'll be adding stuff to all these stuff. Like, I mean, we might, during the meeting, we want to we might want to do something like, um, you know, increase efforts in Japan or something like that, or maybe open a new office in Japan. So we're just adding notes to the map as we go along. So everybody sees everything that's being added to the map. So we're all sort of sharing a common understanding of what's going on in the meeting. Okay, so that's the basic map, and we'll stop there, and we'll do some more in the, in the next series. Okay, thanks.